Patrick Henry, a la Shmup. When the British really started putting the screws to the colonists, most of the colonists just sat there and took it. Ow! That is, until one man refused to take it anymore. Coming in the summer of 1776, the incredible Patrick Henry! The Pat, better known as Skull Crusher, many colonists were privileged old rich men who had a lot to lose by starting a revolution. In other words, they were wusses. Pat couldn't take it much more. He first blew up at something called the Stamp Act, which was a major tax the British imposed on the colonies. It made Pat angry. You wouldn't like him when he's angry. He pushed through what were called the Virginia Resolves, which basically said the British could screw America over. He was called a traitor right there on the spot. He in turn said the colonists who called him a traitor could verily place it with much force into an area where the sun does not shine. Pat went on to lay the groundwork for the First Continental Congress, which was like the Avengers version of the Founding Fathers. The British sent troops to maintain order, and the wusses, or, or uh, the other colonists, couldn't decide what to do. Pat couldn't take it anymore. He leapt onto a table and roared, Give me liberty or give me death. The other congressman jumped up and yelled, To arms, to arms! After the war, Pat did not want to adopt the Constitution. In fact, he hated the Constitution. So much so that he was one of the driving forces behind the Bill of Rights, which, to Pat, fixed what was wrong with the Constitution. George Washington and John Adams both offered Pat jobs in their presidencies, but in true Pat fashion, he told them uh, where they could stick it. Where the sun does not shine. So, what do you think? Would the colonists ever have revolted without Patrick Henry there to push them? Or was he just expressing what folks like Jefferson and Franklin were already thinking? Shmup amongst yourselves. Let us know what you think. We'd love to hear.